Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are uh, rejoining our crew here on the surface of the moon as they have landed uh, within good proximity of the uh, Lunar Research Center. And it's time to get out and start uh, putting things together. So we are going to get our resident engineer, Boris Pigodin, out on EVA and uh, have him descend the ladder and uh, start the assembly of stuff. Uh, very slow going there, Boris. It's all right. Just don't break any solar panels. You'll be just fine. There's a clean descent to the surface. And a happy waddle. Yep, no running here on the moon, unfortunately. So it's probably going to take him a little while to get uh, all the way over to the utility lander, where he's going to have to uh, extract a pylon uh, place them and then start linking this to first and foremost the life support lander as uh, we need that more than power at the moment seeing as how we are in direct daylight and uh, the station the research lab I should say is probably doing a fairly good job of keeping its own power uh, supplied but I'm not sure how uh, over what kind of distances we can stretch those um, connection port tube things uh, thus the need for a pylon to go in the middle and give us a solid anchor point for which to connect all the things hmm I do wonder how far uh, distant that is but for an off-the-cuff uh, hands-on landing I'm kinda proud of that that worked real well <laughs> All of these did actually, other than the the one that failed. But I don't know. <laughs> I'll own it. That was all my fault. And that is quite a stack of RTGs there. All right. So inventory. Let's open up uh, your inventory. Uh, can we? Yeah. Look at that. Probably need a screwdriver and two ports close close this is I'm not entirely sure how this is done so <laughs> bear with me it's been a very long time since I've used a uh, Kerbal inventory or Kerbal attachment system I think we just need a solid bead on, I think that's our only actual port, and that looks like a straight line there, so inventory. Hey. Nicely done, sir. And can we attach? H to attach? Nope, this part can't be attached without a tool. Uh, do, 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 do. change node, move down, H to attach, escape to cancel. So, how do we use the tool? Oh boy, what did he just do? Did you just drop your... Whoa. Okay. That did not work. <laughs> Don't drop your tools on the moon. That's today's lesson. <laughs> I should have included some tools in the lunar lander. That would have been smart. No more tools in there. Oh, good. Did I just blow up half of my tools? Yep, I did. Press X to use, equipped. Cannot use equipped item because nothing is equipped. That's interesting. Equip, there we go. All right, H to attach.
Oh, effing lag. <laughs> so, um, how do we unattach? <laughs> Can I just plug something into the moon and then plug something else into the moon and get the benefit from it? Because that would be... Yes, I would like to detach. No, I did not want to lock that window. Okay, this is probably very painful for all of you to watch, so I'm just going to try to figure this stuff out. Brilliant. Oh, please. If it won't reach this, it certainly won't reach the life support module, so this has to work first. Link? Yes. We have our first hose attachment. <laughs> uh, and I think it will reach the life support module, and that's even better. But uh, we do need to go back and get another connector port since I can't figure out how to undetach, unattach that one from the moon. You know, go me. All right, inventory. One and two. Close. And back to work. How's your life support holding out? Ooh, electric charge. Halfway depleted already? That is not good. Yeah, we're going to have to get him back inside sometime quite soon. There we go. Nice. And link. There's our life support module. Please reach. Link. Yes. I cannot believe that worked. <laughs> this is awesome. Can I walk through the pipe? Excellent. And we're going to jump him back into the uh, derp derp lab <laughs> and uh, transfer over all of our necessary resources. But first, let's take an EVA report, keep, and a surface sample, keep. board fantastic yes and we are in a common vessel space uh, out do 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 this is going to take a little while in perhaps the most compelling of my resource transfer scenes uh, i think it's really interesting to watch exactly how much the mass shifts over as you can see, the camera's slowly panning with the uh, center of mass as we display stuff from the life support can into the station proper. Yeah, that's entertainment right there. Okay, uh, life support is active. EVA, we've just got to hook up the power couple now. Where did you go, dude? EVA? Oh, okay, yeah. That was predictable. Thunk. <laughs> All right, and we should hook up the power couple because the nights are long here. Which, uh, should just require one more hose connector and then we'll be all booted up and ready. Oh good, his electric charge got topped off. That was our only concern before. So inventory, uh, how do I equip? I forgot. Equip. That was rather dumb. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Third link. And we'll just uh, wander on over here to our power cup module. This should be uh, quite an easy one. It's a lot closer than everything else. Well, it is a little higher up, so this might be interesting. Link. Nice. And we're assembled. Yay! Oh, that's awesome. I cannot believe this worked. <laughs> I think we do have a blueprint now for building uh, extra planetary uh, installations in modular format, which makes them a lot easier to launch. And Boris didn't break anything. How cool is that? <laughs> All right. And uh, we're going to get the rest of the crew out here for a little bit of a dedication. Because we, uh, we do want everybody on board here. That's really the only way this thing is going to function. So we'll just have uh, Boris come out this way some. And let's uh, switch over to our lander and get the rest of our crew out as quickly as possible. EVA. I do kind of feel like you could actually hold shift and get Kerbals to run on the surface of the moon in the stock game. Uh, I That's just not a thing here in RSS that I guess I never really realized that. I'm going to have to test for this on Earth to see if it's a, a universal. Uh, Kerbals can't run in spacesuits or if it's uh, just here in uh, low gravity environments. But I don't know. It was, a, it was kind of a shock to me. And... Also, you get to see exactly how terrible I am at uh, setting up photo opportunities. We'll get our third Kerbal out of the uh, descent, or the limb, really. That's the ascent stage, technically. And uh, scurry on over to our photo op point in accelerated time. Yeah. <laughs> Magically compelling footage here. But uh, I've never really done a photo op thing before, especially not with more than one Kerbal. I guess uh, we've only had two landings with multiple crew. Please don't climb on your compatriots. Alright, that's almost good enough. Fit for film, that is. And they're all just chatterboxes. And now that we're all here, we can smash the champagne, champagne bottle and uh, officially christen this the uh, Rosalina D. Memorial Lunar Research Station. Ta-da! Uh, in honor of a Kerbal lost in the line of duty, being the first Kerbal to uh, orbit the moon and then unsuccessfully return to Earth. Uh, she will be gladly remembered and memorialized forever here in this research station. <clears throat> but it is here to do research, so it's time that we got working on that front. Uh, the picture is taken. We... Uh, which one am I now? It doesn't matter. F2. Uh, plant flag. Boris, if you could please. <laughs> with your your tool slanty flag there we go bingo all right and uh, our engineer is going to head this way to get the uh, rover prepped and ready. Uh, this is Bowman, I assume. Yep, Lee Bowman. He's our pilot. Actually, it should probably be you to get the rover ready, seeing as how you're the rated driver here. And Sally's going to go inside and start researching things after we move all the science into the appropriate laboratory module and get things up and running. Now that it has uh, all of its life supporty supplies, uh, grab, climb on up. Boop. 
board. All right, so let's uh, review stored data. There we go. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna transfer it all into the lab. Whole lot of data here. Uh, yeah, I don't know how much data this thing can hold. Would have been nice to check. Uh, da -da -da. 77 of 750. Okay, good. It's going to give me live update totals. So. Wow. <laughs> Plus 550 for pictures taken on the surface. We're at 714 is 750. That's 110 data. So that's actually going to put it over the limit, so we'll just keep that one. This is uh, 33 data, 747 of 750, so we're just going to let her uh, munch on those for a while, and we'll keep the rest of these. And that's awesome, 20.16 science per day, just on one scientist working on this, and we're nowhere near done collecting stuff. All right. So now it's time to unhook the rover and uh, get it ready, or at least in operable condition, which means detaching it from the ramp. And it does look like the brakes are engaged. I don't know if that is or is not a good thing, because uh, it could slide off the ramp since the wheels are locked, just flip over on its back, and that will make it useless. So I think what we are going to do is uh, move our Kerbals safely off to the side, uh, switch to the rover core itself, disengage the brakes, and have it uh, move itself off the ramp. Of course, once we have its comm setup booted, we should have local control, thanks to our scientist uh, inside. That's the flag. This is our research center. Excellent. Yeah, it does take a little while to load on the things. So let's do the first. Let's activate this antenna. Oh, that's going to poke into the ground. No, we do not want to do that. Deactivate that. That might cause a problem. <laughs> there we go. Uh, control from here. Release brakes. Well, that's brakes on. How about brakes off? Brakes are off. Okay, uh, I'm going to take a quick save just in case this all goes horribly, horribly awry. All right, quick save complete. Decouple. Oh, good grief. Brakes. Yes! Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> Ramps were completely unnecessary. <laughs> but hey, what grand fortune is that? That is sweet. <laughs> All right, let's get a pilot aboard so we can dodge that signal delay of almost a second. <laughs> I cannot... Wow. This is our engineer. He probably doesn't even need to be on this thing. Actually, he does not. Let's get you back in the science uh, lab. Oh, and we've got to run this experiment down here, too. That's even more science. We packed that thing completely full, pretty much. And it's going to take quite a while to process all that data. Once we have all three aboard, then we'll check our life support stats and see uh, how all of those things are looking. I don't think you can help much with the research, but uh, I don't know. Maybe there'll be something we need to drill for. You never know. Grab. Thank you, sir. Board. Fantastic. Yeah, he doesn't increase the rate, but uh, do, do, do. he can hold 500 science. That's interesting. I wonder what the difference there is. But anyway, 
All right, Bowman. Man your vehicle, sir. This is actually our first crude rover thing. I mean, we've tested them out on Earth, but uh, this is the first one actually extraplanetary. All right, breaks off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there's a view for the ages. Little fishtail, no big deal. Oh, this is awesome. I wonder how far we are from the next nearest biome. Because uh, that's definitely going to be a thing. Especially if I figure out how to detach stuff. We're going to take some of these science experiments off. We're going to bolt them to the rover. We're going to take them to the next biome over. And do some real work. No? No brakes? Oh, don't be intermittent on me, brakes. I, I need actual brakes. Oh, good. That's That's good. Did lights work? Lights do work. Oh, I didn't take the brake lights off the brake toggle. <laughs> uh, good, good, good. All right. So all that looks good, but I can't turn the brakes off all on my own. So I guess we're just going to have to have, uh, well, maybe Bowman can park this in such a way where it won't slide down the hill and that will give me more time to toggle the brakes. Don't back into the station, please. Brakes. Brakes. Okay, always some roll. Bowman, uh, leave seat. Let's switch back to the rover. Brakes. One second delay, brakes, brakes locked. Perfect. And now Bowman get aboard. Grab. And you climb all the way up into the cupola. So I don't think you can get in there. Yeah, it's not going to tell me anyway. Oh, well. board and let's open these hatches shall we clink yes even better oh that is that is awesome whoa okay that it just yeah nighttime daytime night that's super interesting but okay then where is the sun uh there Okay, so yes, we are actually in daytime. I don't know what's going on with the shaders there, but, you know, whatever works. F5. So, uh, Rosalina Memorial Research Station is now officially up and running. Woot woot. Let's check our life support time. Yeah, 300 or so days. Uh, oh, wait a minute. That's, I guess that's where we are. Three crew ship here on the ground. Let's go through the official act of renaming this just so that we know where everything is. Uh, da, da, da. No, we have to do it up here, don't we? Rename vessel. Moon Lab 1 ship, yeah. Bingo. Uh, base. Accept. Accept. Cancel. There we go. Let's check this again. Yay! <laughs> 300 or some odd days. Uh, I will have to come back and check to see if it's going to be draining from this tank. Uh, if at all. And there's the nighttime thing again. Let's uh, activate our CO2 scrubber. No space for more waste. Really? Uh, oh, I guess it needs space for water. Which, uh, we don't have any extra space. They haven't really consumed any. Although, but a little bit. Oh, man. <laughs> this is exciting. This is the first of these I've ever done in RSS, really. So, uh, I'm extra excited about this. 
Where'd the flag go? Oh, it's there. I just, yeah, that's the shadow that I was looking at. So, anyway. That's awesome. They're going to be here for at least 300 days doing research. Uh, maybe longer. We might bring them a fresh resupply drop pod if they need more time to complete their research. Uh, if not, we'll just uh, take all the research with us that we can. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, can we perform experiments here on the surface? Yes. Oh, man, if we recover it, we get 200 science. Oh, man, that is 50,000 <laughs> data units. We can't even store that in here. Uh, so we'll keep that. And uh, at the very least, we'll take that home with us. That's some that's some good science. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. And I will see all of you in the next one. So until then, see you later.